Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, I'll show you some simple techniques to create realistic looking fire. So guys, let's get started. First things first, create a new composition. And create a new solid layer. Go to the effects control panel and search for CC Particle World and double click on it to apply it to the solid layer. Now in the effects control panel, uncheck all the options or grids and guides. Drop down the options for physics and set animation to fire. Solid particles will move up. Now let's bring it down to make the base at the bottom. So go into the producer and change the position Y property. We can also make the base wider using the Radius X property. Again, go into Physics and set the Velocity to 1.70, Gravity to 2, Resistance to 0.6 and Extra to 1.50. Also, go into the Particle and change Particle Type to Faded Sphere. Set the Birth Size to 1.5, Death Size to 0.9, size variation to 50% and max opacity to 75%. Let's check how it looks. I think we should add some more effects to it to get rid of this really feathered edge. Go to the effects and control panel and apply the matte choker effect to it. Change the choke 1 down to 0 and increase the gray level softness slightly. You can now see the difference with and without the choker. Without the choker, it's very feathered. And with the choker, it's a bit sharper. Next, add the wrap effect. Change the wrap style to arc lower and turn down the blend to zero. The effect will make the fire narrow at the top and wider at the bottom so that the fire appears in a cone shape. So let's turn the vertical distortion up a little to let's say 40. We need to make the shape more irregular and more like a fire. We can do this by adding Turbulent Displace effect. In Turbulent Displace, change the amount to 35, size to 150 and complexity to 4. From that, you can see that the shape looks more like a fire. Next, we want the turbulence to move upwards with the particles. To do that, let's add an expression on the offset turbulence property. Alt plus click on the stopwatch icon and it will open up an expression box down here. Then type y equals time times 4000. Also, let's add expression to the evolution property. In the expression box down here, type time times 800 and it will make the evolution change over time. So look at that, it's more like a fire now. Next, add texture to it so that it looks realistic. To do so, add fractal noise to it. In the fractal noise, change fractal type to smeary. No need to change the soft linear, just invert it. Set the contrast to 100 and brightness to minus 20. And change the blending mode to none. Again, open up the transform section and turn off uniform scaling. Change the scale width to 180, scale height to 400 and complexity to 2.3. Here, the texture is staying still and we want to make it move upward, similar to the turbulent displacement effect. So back into fractal noise, Open up the expression box for offset turbulence and evolution. You can see the expression for offset turbulence and evolution in turbulence displacement effect. Just copy them and paste it into the fractal noise effect.
Now the fractal noise moves up with the particles just like the turbulence. It's black and white, so let's change the blending mode in the fractal noise effect. Changing the blending mode to add. Or add a colorama color effect. In colorama, open up output cycle and change preset palette to fire. Also in modify, uncheck modify alpha. It doesn't look so good, there's only a small flame. So let's add the effect called echo. This effect will play back the flame over itself like an echo. Now let's change the echo time interval to 1 second and number of echoes to 2. This will brighten the flame and add some depth because there are multiple particles and multiple textures playing over itself. Next, add directional blur effect. Increase the blur length to about 20 to 25. And the final thing that I'm going to do is duplicate the fire layer and change its blending mode to screen. And also adjust both layers and timing. So now we can see our final flaming fire. I think it's fine and looking realistic. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time.